Yeah, it does. It's like when you're uh, when you're a team um, in a championship race. That's what the championship teams do, and um, uh, you cut it to eight. Uh, we played the right way. We were sharing the ball, uh, playing hard, um, and then they hit two uh, two big threes. I think they might got an offensive rebound or a dump off um, uh, to lay it in as well. And uh, they just do what they do consistently. Um, and that's uh, the most consistent teams usually have the most success at the end of the year. And, uh, I mean, Taylor's a great player, but very unselfish. Today. Yeah. He did a pretty good job on the night, but there are some other guys that really count some more. They know their role. I mean, uh, uh, like Abib has, uh, he's 8 for 9, 19 and 10. Just, um, I don't know if they ran a play for him tonight. Um, and he just... But he does that, like when you scout these guys, and we watch a lot of film, and, and you hear about Terry Taylor, and he's good. I mean, he's really good. Um, and uh, But these other guys, it's not like they haven't done this uh, pretty consistently throughout the year. Um, you know, they, they hit back-to-back -back threes when they had to hit them um, by guys that have made those threes before throughout the year. Um, and, uh, and Taylor, it, it's impressive because – he is a willing, um, a willing teammate, uh, not just a willing passer. He's a willing teammate. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's unfortunately not fun to watch when you're playing against them, um, but uh, it's something where I, as I've grown up in coaching and, and become more uh, uh, mature in coaching, um, uh, the amount of respect that you have for for certain uh, programs, teams, players. Um, he's one of those guys that, like, as you're watching him, um, you you enjoy watching it because uh, the variety of things that he does with his within his team, and, and it's not just him. Uh, and, and Coach Figures doing a really good job with that team. Well, you mentioned it, he, he he sort of knows where to be, and he's got a knack to be in the right place at the right time, getting a rebound right underneath, or being in the right spot and getting an easy basket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have they have a knack. They really do, and I think part of their knack is um, their consistency. Uh, you know, they do what they do uh, consistently, and um, they they're used to being in the situations where the ball happens to be because they're there every time. Um, and and then that's where you have two guys boxing out one guy, and then the ball falls into another guy's hands, and it's just an easy layup. And it's frustrating sometimes as a player. I'm sure. And as a coach, um, because it feels like, oh, we just didn't do anything right because he has a wide open layup all of a sudden. And the reality of it is a lot of times we had gotten a stop and the ball falls uh, to him when we're playing hard in other areas of the court, just not in the right area. And that sometimes is deflating um, as you're establishing a program uh, the right way. Um, and... Uh, our guys just have to continue to just understand, hey, it's two points. You move on to the next thing. Um, and now let's, let's, let's address you know, how, how we hold them off the glass or, or don't let up an easy layup in that point. But we can't let it carry over and linger to the next few plays. You know, it's ba when you get down to basics, it's the game of scoring and the game of stops. Mm -hmm. If you score and don't stop, it really doesn't benefit you. If you stop and don't score, right? yeah. you got to do both. Yeah. That's a, good, that's a good way. Yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. If you score more, you're going to win. Yeah. If you stop them more, you're going to win. Um, you know, we, you know, we, we, I think, what do we go from the line? We ended up going uh, 13 for 18, um, but, but some big ones, I thought, late uh, that could have cut it to like maybe 10, 12. And, and just seeing that number um, kind of whittle down, like it felt like the lead was bigger at times. And then our guys, uh, to their credit, uh, they just kept on fighting, kept on battling. They're going to show up tomorrow. Our guys are going to show up tomorrow because that's the kind of culture that we uh, are establishing here every single day. And we're going to be a team that doesn't have give up. Uh, we're not going to be perfect. We're going to have to – we have issues that we got to uh, fix um, in, in all areas of the program. And, and that's, a, that's a heavy lift. But um, that's why, uh, you know, we're, we're here. And uh, it's going to be a heck of a lot of fun um, as, as we continue to grow this thing the right way. Um, with these guys that are that are really have bought in uh, to do it the, and be taught the right way. Well, I would think the good thing would be you know you got down and you, you never led, but you never uh, you never really gave up. You came back and kept battling and battling and battling, and uh, you know it's, it's had to make them, but I don't think 
same way. It may be tilting towards the goal line, but you never really have a goal line. Yeah, the final score is like, oh, it's 18, and you know, you don't, you don't want your moral victory. And the, rea the reality of it, it was about a 13-point game, 12-point game. Um, you know, we c we cut it down to eight, like like we talked about. Um, but our guys aren't going to like these guys are going to show up tomorrow. They're going to be um, close in the locker room, and they're going to be prepared uh, uh, for Murray State on Saturday. And that's what um, that's unfortunately what we have had to really establish um, a consistency um, within this program. And and that's where we are uh, every day, uh, fighting to to have that consistency. And to our guys' credit. Um, they have really bought into that, and um, that's why it's a fun team to coach. That's why I'm proud to be their coach every single day. It's 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 crazy because um, I've had some more successful teams in terms of record, uh, but this team right here, uh, they have a special place because of they know there's a lot that they have had to overcome um, in their time here, and uh, and you want the success for them so badly because they do bring it. Uh, on a consistent basis. When you have them, classic and some good things going on tonight, but probably when you're playing a team like this, you got to have it, you know, almost all the time. You know, the yeah. You're at the top of your game to stay what they do to team like this. And, but, you know, they, you know, the scoring and passing and some rebounding, they had guys do, uh, you know, some good things. And it's a matter of you, you need more. Yeah, you, you just it, it, it just keeps coming back to that consistency. I mean, they really um, – there's flashes, and it's fun to see that. And there's that belief, and there's that togetherness, that camaraderie. Um, but then there's also that time, those times that uh, we were on our heels a little bit or we didn't get that loose ball. And then you saw the frustration as well. And, um, you know, the cool thing about this team is the frustration is because uh, we care. It's not frustration because – um, their situation. And uh, obviously people want to score more, play more, rebound more, you know, win more. Um, but uh, to have been uh, where they are and where they, where they have been and where they are now, um, it, it's neat to see their growth. Um, uh, and we'll, you know, soon see more success, uh, wins and losses. And uh, the plan is to do that on, on, on Saturday. Okay. Well, thank, thank you. you.